Firefighters are still working to contain the wildfires. The Lahaina fire is 85% contained, having scorched over 2,000 acres. The upcountry Kula fire is now 75% contained, burning 678 acres and 19 homes. While some of Kula and much of West Maui remains closed, much of the island is still open. Local businesses on the Valley Isle are starting to feel the financial pain now from a dramatic drop in visitors, and officials want to get the message straight. According to state data, in the last week, passenger arrivals to Maui have gone down nearly 80% from about 7,500 arrivals a day, cratering to 1,500 a day. Mike Phillips owns Coconut Fish Cafe and has lived on Maui for a quarter century. He says he's mourning the deaths in the fire just like he did when his mom died. But now he's also worried about his employees. My employees cannot live on unemployment. It's impossible. So for yesterday, like an average day, we would have done $17,000 in sales at Coconuts Fish Cafe. We did 4,000 for the entire day. My employees work for tips, my employees work for wages, and when those aren't there, how are they gonna pay their bills? He says he's gonna have to close one of his two restaurants on the Valley Isle Wednesday. I'm the kind of boss that's gonna make it up, but how long can I make it up and how long will this last? Because what's happening right now is just really crazy. Messaging has been erratic with many, even some of Hawaii's celebrities, warning that Maui is closed on social media platforms. Lahaina is closed, not Maui. So there's a lot of people that still depend on other things out here. So yeah, let's have some respect. Because that's what's being interpreted by some that all of Hawaii is shut down. So uh, we need to be very careful, very selective, those who go on social media and have a platform. Unlike COVID, significant unemployment relief won't be coming to those who were not directly affected by the fires. It would be potentially catastrophic if no one traveled to the island. We probably would see a mass exodus from Maui. Hanneman adds that visitors with reservations could continue to come to Maui. Phillips tells me one of his customers dropped a donation of $20,000 in gift cards to first responders. He hopes to use his closed location of coconuts to cook food to those in need.